Pile number one, what makes you powerful? So um, when I was shuffling the cards, I heard teen spirit, teen spirit, and I'm pretty sure that's a deodorant. So don't know where I'm going with that, uh, but I feel like what makes you powerful is uh, you have a way with um, the younger generation. Um, and it's the way that you speak. I feel like you are someone who's tapped into your inner child. A lot, a lot, a lot. And um, you're able to speak to people who are younger than you and really actually get through to them. Um, mm -hmm. And I feel like, yeah, and that's because you're so in touch with your inner child. You have this dynamic of like being playful, young and youthful, but also very mature, also very wise, you know? Um, what makes you powerful, number one, or powerful pile number one is this gentle touch that you have you're very gentle um, in the way that you speak in the way that you get your messages across in the way that you um, and when I say messages like you're getting really profound messages across and you're doing it in such a gentle and sweet way um, yeah and people admire this about you people love this about you um, yeah, they really, they really love this about you. Um, you get major lessons, across, like life lessons across in the sweetest way. People come to you uh, for things that they have trouble with. Like um, maybe if some, yeah, you're the type of person, you're the, you're, you're the person that people come to once they know that they have an issue with something and they don't know what to do with it. They don't know how to get over it. They don't know how to get through it. They don't know how to end this cycle. You know, you're, you're the one that people go to when they have awareness of where they're lacking, you know, um, because I feel like it could be missed when it comes to you, how powerful you are for the ones who, um, don't know already or for the ones who are not self-aware right yeah 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 you it could be missed for those people so you are a specific you have a specific type of power or you have a specific strength here working with specific people mm -hmm, who are in a specific time in their life um you are the medicine you are the one you are you're it okay pal one um specific area specific niche something like that um and the people who um come to you for whatever service or whatever it is that you do you truly help them you show them how to fill their own cup you show them how to work from an internal standpoint right or you show them that everything comes from an internal standpoint so the way that you're acting or the way that um you carry yourself all shows where you are internally it really does it it shows how you treat yourself it shows exactly where you are internally and you you help those people okay you really help those people now people who don't know why their life is chaotic or that they're the problem or what they have to do what part they've played in being the problem you would not help those people <laughs> you simply because they just wouldn't get your message they wouldn't understand it they wouldn't they wouldn't know what to do with it they probably would dismiss it you know like they just wouldn't know so your power pile number one is in um helping people who are aware okay um and i feel an energy and i feel spirit telling you here um you know whatever it is that you do you work with people who come to you you're not one to go out to people to be like hey i could help you with that no the people have to come to you. They have to know what they want. They have to know where they are. They have to know what's going on. They have to have some level of awareness um, so that you can then, I wanted to say, use your power or, or then um, your, your, your power be effective with these people, okay? Um, yeah, yeah, that, that's what's making you powerful here. So whatever it is you do, pile number one, you're in a very... Um, feminine energy when you do this and if you feel like you're ever getting into a masculine energy with whatever it is that you do take a break because you're supposed to be receiving okay um what makes my pound number one's powerful what makes my pound number one's powerful 
Mm-hmm. What makes my pile number one powerful? Yeah, and then you get the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. You got the Three of Wands. Yeah, you're you're the type. Um, your power comes from you being in your feminine energy. Okay, your power, or you you are able to um, be the most powerful and effective when you're in your feminine energy. Um, what makes you powerful is the type of. Um, you it's your sight it's like your foresight or your your sight i wanted to say your energetic sight i don't know <laughs> but you you're able to see things in people that they don't see in themselves and the way that you work with these people um is so smooth it's so effort effortless it's um it's easy for you, you know? Like what makes you powerful is all the many things that you're able to see and tap into and what you do with what you've seen and tapped into, you know? Like what you give to people from what you've seen and tapped into. It's it's an energy of, um, you have like this fairy-like presence where you're always in a in a fairy, you, you you know you're always a fairy, you're always a fairy, um, and it's another side message from spirit. It's like you are meant to stay in this gentle energy. Okay, you're meant to be there. You're meant to be. Um, In your Empress energy, pile number one, I don't know why this is, uh, Spirit has me like stopping here. You're meant to be in your, your Empress energy. So if you're feeling like you haven't been lately, that's where you're meant to be. Um, if you're feeling like you are overworking yourself or if you're feeling like you're doing too much, um, take a step back, pile number one. Take a step back because you're not in your power when you are... Um, overexerting yourself okay and I know that that sounds kind of crazy because being in your empress energy or feminine energy you're not really doing much but that's the point <laughs> that's the point that's the point um because you're meant to receive you're meant to receive you're meant to receive from spirit um you're meant to be in calm areas or um in calm relationships or calm dynamics with other people if you have people around you who's bringing out another side or making you feel anxious or making you feel uh, i heard unworthy yeah especially if they're making you feel unworthy get them the fuck out of here but that wasn't even what i was gonna say <laughs> Um, if you have people around you who are making you feel any other way than being in your empress energy or uh, being feminine or anything like that, I really want to say get them away from you. Um, but that's me. That's Rain talking. Let me see uh, what spirit got to say. <laughs> Spirit's like, just be mindful. Okay, be, have discernment on how much energy you give to those types of people. Um yeah, have discernment. So there's a, a, a new level of awareness that you're being brought into right now, pile number one. Um, and this new level of awareness that you're being brought into is really going to aid you in staying in this feminine energy that I've been speaking on so that you can be your most powerful self. Okay, so that's what I got for you. Um, I really hope that this resonated for you. Comment down below. Let me know how it resonated for you. Don't forget to like. Um, do not forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace. Pile number two. What makes you powerful? Okay. Um, hmm. So pile two. I get an energy from you where a lot of your power comes from expression. So the way that you express yourself in whatever way that you normally express yourself. I am really picking up on like the way that you dress, um, the different things that you make if you're into art, um, if you make music, um, if you're a reader, um, anything like that. Um, that's what's making you powerful. That That's what makes you powerful. It's the way that you express yourself. There's something to do with expression or um, you know how you look at an art piece and everybody has their own interpretations of that, that art piece. Um, that's you. You're kind of like an art piece. 
um, and ev everybody's meant to have their own interpretation of you and, and um, what you do and how you do what you do. Everybody's meant to. Um, but that's when you're in your power, pal number two, uh, when people are kind of like when people are projecting on you, you know, um, and I feel like for you, pal number two, that probably was something that you really had to overcome. People projecting their opinions on you or perceiving you in whatever way that they perceive you. I feel like that some maybe something that you struggled with at, at whoop. That may be something that you struggled with at some point. Um, and that's only because spirit needed you to perfect the way that you thought about that. Because that's where your power comes from. Um, people projecting, you know. Um, you do something creative. You do a lot of things creative. I don't know. Um, but you're like that art piece in a museum. And people, um, they feel how they feel about you, you know. But it's it's all for a bigger purpose. It's all for a reason. Um what makes you so powerful, pal number two, is um, you really could be a fire sign here. I really am picking up on the energy, um, mainly because I was drawn to this candle sitting right here when I said that. Um, but yeah, you have, your power comes from expression. You're meant to be viewed. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to be, um, you you're meant to be, I almost want to say picked apart. Um, but I feel like now you're in a space where you're understanding that, you know, and it doesn't, it doesn't affect you as much as it used to or something like that. Um, you're meant to do that because you're meant to inspire pal too. That's really what it is. You're meant to inspire people by whatever it is, by however you wake up that day and you choose to e express yourself. Okay. So hopefully that takes a little bit of burden off of you. Cause I feel like it did. I feel like, um, yeah, 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 yeah. You're meant, you're meant for this shit pal too. You are. Um, so if you have any days where you're waking up and you're like, fuck man, I just don't want to be perceived today <laughs> or something like that. It's like, I get it. I do understand that, but that's a, that's a big part of where your power comes from. Um, let's get more. What makes my pal twos so powerful? Mm-hmm. What make my, what, what, child? I'm not going to take that one. Um, so what makes you so powerful? Yeah, like I was saying, you have you could be a fire sign or you could have heavy fire in your chart because a lot of what you do, it's like it comes naturally to you. It it You just are. You just are, you know? And when I think of fire, I think of something that just is you know, and it's, it's beautiful to look at a fire or even like the flames here. They're beautiful to look at. Um, but don't get too close, right? Cause you will get hurt and not in a way with you where people shouldn't get close to you or anything like that. But it's like an energy of, um, well, the people that are meant to be close to you, they're meant to be close to you. But for the ones that are just meant to watch you and perceive you, um, they're meant to just do that and 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 take whatever it is that they're taking from you. So again, what makes you powerful is the way that you show up naturally. Pile number two, you are meant to just show up some places. You know, you're meant to just be and show up places and not really do much, but just be there <laughs> and be yourself. Okay, because you are such an inspiration. A lot of your power comes from the way that you express, pal. Too. So, if you are someone who expresses a lot or is very artistic or anything like that, please don't ever stop doing that because that's a part of your purpose. Um, we're going to get one last card. What makes my pile number two so, um, powerful? Mm, this has been coming up a lot. Um, what makes you so powerful is... What makes you so powerful is the sweetness that you have. Clarify this page of cups.
your power comes from your voice it comes from your your clothes you know it comes from your style I think what spirit is really getting at here because I'm like huh it's how you're so original you know and you're you're so yourself um This message is similar to pile number one, and I think spirit is really just trying to get across to the collective that all you really got to do is exist, you know? <laughs> That's all you got to do. That's all you're here to do is exist and, and be in your purpose and um, express yourself and whatever ways that you, you do, but your power comes from you simply existing, pile number two, um, but existing in your own lane, right? Existing in your own truths. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think Spear is really trying to get across to you, well, pile number one, too, but mainly you, is that you don't really have to do too much, okay? You don't have to do too much. You don't have to do too much. You don't. All you have to do is show up. <laughs> and you're very powerful, okay? Um... There's a lot of people that are admiring you right now, pal number two, and um, you have a lot of eyes on you. You have a lot of per people perceiving you, or you have a lot of people that just watch you just to watch you. You have people that watch you. Say if you're a reader, you have people that watch you, um, and they're not even like into tarot, but they watch you because whatever it is that you do, you're inspiring them, you know? You just may be inspiring them to do their own thing. That's really that's really uh, heavy here. So for the readers here, um, you have people who aren't even into tarot. They they're not into tarot, but they watch you religiously because of the way that you show up, because what you do, because of just how you exist. Okay, so that's what makes you powerful how to really re and then you got the ace of swords at the bottom of the deck i love when that happens when i'm ending a reading because spirit's like yep so that's what i got for you um please like comment subscribe to become a raindrop know that i love you on a soul level peace pile number three what makes you powerful um okay um so this is my communicating pile. This is my pile that loves to communicate and is very excellent at communication. Maybe you maybe you went to school and you majored in communication. Or maybe that's your major or maybe that's your current major or something like that, right? Um, yeah. You, yeah. What makes you powerful is that throat chakra, honey. It's open. It is open. Your throat chakra is open. You are um, looked up to for the way that you speak. I, yeah, Spirit's showing me, yeah, you're, you're so powerful, Pal 3. You do a lot for people, people that you do not even know. Just by the way that you speak, you take burdens off of people. You you help them lighten their load or you help them um, come out of lack mentality. You help people um, see things through an abundant mindset, you know? You, you show people that they're powerful, okay? Um, you are so needed in whatever environments that you're in or rooms or people or friends or whatever, people that you talk to normally, this could be your family. You're needed. You're needed. And um, this pile here is very confident. I get a, such a confident energy from you where you are well aware of what it is that you bring, I hate to bring to the table, but um, you're well aware of your strengths. That's what it is, Pile 3. You're really aware of your strengths. 
and that's what makes you powerful because you you help people who are kind of aware of their strengths be completely aware of their strengths like you like you because you are you you are and then the ace of Come on, Ace of Swords. Spirit is talking today. Let's get more. Um, what makes my pile number threes so powerful? You're abundant. You, um, you're humble. And I'm also hearing you came from humble beginnings. Mm-hmm. And when I say, when I said you're humble, it makes me think that you are now in a position where you don't have to be humble, okay? Yeah, you're now in a position where you really don't have to be, but you are and you choose to be. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's get more. What makes my pile number three so powerful? <laughs> so i'm picking up on heavy earth sign for this power a uh, heavy yeah earth sign energy you could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo um but uh what makes you powerful is your manifestation abilities you're so good at manifesting power three you are so good at it mm -hmm. and i even get the energy from you where you're like i know i know Oh, again, that confidence. You're very confident in what it is that you provide or like the services that you provide or whatever it is that you do normally, you're, you know, okay, you know. Um, and that's what makes you powerful. It's this confidence that you have in your, your abilities. It's like, you know, the, the people that work with you are so sure of you. And that's because you're so sure of yourself. Mm, you, you're powerful, pal three. You are so powerful. You are... Um, you're like a rock for a lot of people. You're like... So, you're solid. You're solid for a lot of people. And you have, yeah, people around you are like, how are you this solid for so many people at the same time? Or how do you have so many friends that you fully show up for? <laughs> you fully show up for all of them. How? And you have a business? Or and you have kids or a child? Listen, how? A lot of people scratch their heads when it comes to you. But they don't ever question it. They don't question you or anything. They're just like, how the fuck? How? How is Pal 3 out here doing all of this? And so and attentive to me, you know? And then so attentive to the other people or the other clients or the other whatever who have family members, their children, all of it at the same time. How? Okay. So power three, this is all confirmation for you, honey, because the confidence is there. The um, self-awareness is there. Um, yeah, this reading is just strictly confirmation for you um, or like a, um, a re-up or something like you, you the things you already knew, but you just needed to hear it today. You know, that's something like that. Let's get one less card from my power threes and why they're so powerful. A pick me up. That's what I was trying to say. A pick me up. Mm -hmm. You're so powerful because you know how to take time to yourself. There's an energy here with you where you have a routine. You have a routine, pal three. Um, I don't know why, but when I think of routines, I specifically think of the sign of Taurus. Um, so you really could specifically be a Taurus. Um, but of course, not everybody watching is going to be a Taurus. But you have a routine. You have a strict, I 
I wouldn't say strict. I, I think it's flexible, but you have a routine that you do all the time or something like that. That's a part of what makes you powerful because it's something about this knowing yourself or knowing what you need or knowing how much of this you need or um, I don't know why I just heard pre-workout. Maybe you take pre-work or you do pre-workout or I don't know. Um, but there's just <laughs> something here with you, Pow 3, where you're just so routine and you're so um hmm, I need clarification for this hermit rituals you're I'm picking up on a ritual rituals you do rich you, you have a ritual and this really could just be a routine that I'm speaking up speaking on Where you give to yourself. This pal here is really big on self-care or giving to themselves. Or this could be an allowance that you give to yourself. Or um, this could be your weekly salon trip. Or this could be your massage. You get your massage every second Thursday of the month. I don't know. You know, like this is that pile though where you take your self-care very seriously to the point where you have it routined into your life, right? Um, and this is what makes you so powerful. It's like the way that you take care of yourself. That's why you're able to show up for everybody the way that you do because you show up for yourself. And um, I love that. I love that pile three. So that's what I got for you. Um, this is what makes you so powerful. Um, please like and comment. Do not forget to subscribe to become a raindrop. Know that I love you on a soul level. Peace.